Hello, I'm Tim Dumanso of Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. In this video, we will demonstrate a protocol for determining the presence and abundance of specific microorganisms in a complex clinical or environmental sample using a Bioplex instrument. This protocol uses fluorescent polystyrene beads that are chemically coupled to a species-specific oligonucleotide probe. An applicon is generated from the sample using universal PCR primers and the applicon is hybridized to the probe coupled beads. Two signals are generated with the Bioplex instrument. One identifies the bead and one quantifies the hybridization signal. The overall goal of the procedure is to determine a profile of the microbiota of interest in a rapid and semi-quantitative manner. We have applied this technique to determine bacterial profiles in vaginal swabs and use the data generated to diagnose bacterial vaginosis, a clinical condition that is characterized by a change in the microbiota in which lactobacillus organisms become less prevalent and other organisms such as Gardnerella vaginalis and Adipobium vaginae become detectable in vaginal swabs. It's important to keep in mind, however, that this technique can be applied to any other microbiota for which a rapid multiplex assay is desirable. Let's begin by describing how the procedure works. A microbial profile is generated by amplifying a protein encoding gene, chaperonin 60, from all organisms present in a DNA extract of the swab. One of the universal amplification primers is modified by the addition of biotin, as well as the inclusion of phosphorothioate modified bases at the five prime end. The amplicon is made single-stranded using T7 exonuclease, which degrades only the antisense strand since the sense strand is protected by a phosphorothioate-modified PCR primer. Oligonucleotide probes complementary to the remaining strand are covalently coupled to fluorescent polystyrene beads, with each unique bead color containing a probe detecting a different organism. Up to 100 different beads can be used for a single sample. The single-stranded PCR product from the vaginal swab is hybridized to a probe-coupled bead mixture containing probes for all of the organisms of interest. A fluorescent reporter, phycoerythrin, is added that binds to the biotinylated probes through a streptavidin conjugate. Finally, the hybridization mixture is analyzed on a Luminex or Bioplex instrument, which examines each bead individually for identity and hybridization signal. The results of this analysis indicate the presence of specific microorganisms and the intensity of the hybridization signal correlates to the abundance of that organism in the sample. The presence of BV-related organisms can be used to diagnose BV. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like the gram stain, is that information is generated on the presence of specific microorganisms and their abundance. Demonstrating the procedure will be Jennifer Town, a research assistant in our laboratory. Resuspend the microspheres by vortexing for approximately 20 seconds. Transfer 400 microliters of microspheres to an Eppendorf tube. Centrifuge at 14,000 times G for one minute. Remove and discard the supernatant. Resuspend the microspheres in 50 microliters of 0.1 molar MES pH 4.5. Add one nanomole of capture oligo to the microspheres and mix by vortexing. Add 2.5 microliters of fresh EDC solution to the microspheres. Incubate the reaction at room temperature for 30 minutes in the dark. Discard the EDC solution that was prepared earlier and prepare a fresh sample of 10 milligrams per milliliter EDC in water as above. Add another 2.5 microliters of fresh EDC solution to the microspheres and vortex for 5 seconds. Incubate again at room temperature for 30 minutes in the dark.
Wash the beads by adding 1 milliliter of 0.02% tween 20. Vortex to resuspend the beads. Centrifuge at 14,000 times G for one minute. Remove and discard the supernatant. Wash the beads again by adding one milliliter of 0.1% SDS. Resuspend the beads in 100 microliters of TE buffer. Enumerate the beads in a hemocytometer to determine the stock concentration. Prepare a microsphere master mix by diluting each bead to a final concentration of 100 beads per microliter in TE buffer. Pool the coupled beads according to the desired plex of the assay. Store the microsphere master mix at 4 degrees in the dark. This mixture can be stored for months if kept under these conditions. Generate PCR product for each sample. Include the phosphorothioate and biotin modified 5' prime primer set. Immediately after the PCR is complete, add 2 microliters of T7 exonuclease to each PCR tube. Incubate at room temperature for 40 minutes. At the end of this incubation, add 12.5 microliters of 0.5 molar EDTA pH 8.0 and mix. This gives a total of about 64.5 microliters of single-stranded PCR product. Resuspend Microsphere Master Mix with a pipette, dispense an appropriate amount into an Eppendorf tube, cap the tube and sonicate in a water bath sonicator for two minutes. Dispense 17 microliters of single-stranded PCR product into the appropriate wells of a low-profile 96-well plate. Add 33 microliters of resuspended sonicated bead mixture to each well. Cover the plate with a silicone cover and tap gently. Put the plate into the thermocycler with a program of 95 degrees for 5 minutes, 60 degrees for 10 minutes, 60 degree hold or pause, 60 degrees for 5 minutes, end. Start the program. Make fresh streptavidin phycoerythrin solution. You will need 25 microliters per well. Make streptavidin phycoerythrin by diluting the stock at 1 milligram per milliliter, 1 in 50 to 20 micrograms per milliliter with 1 times Tmac buffer. When the thermocycler gets to the 60 degrees hold step, open the lid, remove the silicone cover, and add streptavidin phycoerythrin solution directly to each well. Replace the silicone cover, close the thermocycler lid, and resume the program. When the program is complete, take the plate out and quickly transfer it to the Bioplex machine to read. The plate should be read within 10 minutes. Read the plate at 60 degrees. Ensure that the bioplex has been pre-warmed to this temperature. This shows the results of corresponding gram stains and luminex profiles of longitudinal samples from a single individual. At time zero, the gram stain is consistent with a clinical diagnosis of BV, and this is corroborated by a 5-plex luminex assay that shows positive hybridization signals for BV-associated organisms, including Gardnerellic vaginalis and Adipobium vaginae. Lactobacillus inerse is also detected at low levels. As time progresses, this individual transitions from a BV microbiota to a normal microbiota as shown by gram stains. 
Luminex analysis of these same samples shows that Gardnerella vaginalis abundance peaks and wanes, while Lactobacillus inert increases to become the dominant organism by the final time point. Using this method for profiling the microbiota, information is generated on the presence of specific organisms as well as their abundance. Since the method is sequence-based, probe design can be informed by deep sequencing analysis and microorganisms that are identified by next-generation sequencing methods can be tracked in samples in a rapid, relatively low-cost manner. Watching this video should have given you a good understanding of how to generate a microbial profile from a sample using a Luminex or Bioplex instrument. We've shown you how to couple oligonucleotide probes to the fluorescent beads, generate single-stranded applicon from a clinical or environmental sample, perform hybridization, and determine the results on a Luminex or Bioplex instrument. Good luck with your experiments.